So I'm going to share my nighttime routine with you using the Dr. Slime system. So I'm going to be using nightly serum tonight. So first things first, let us remove the hair. I think I have like a phobia of having my hair in my face when I do my skincare. Okay, so we're good. And I've taken off my necklace so my decolletage is clear. I'm going to start off with eye makeup removal. Some people call this the first cleanse. I call it eye makeup removal. So just some micellar water on a cotton pad and I'm going to press for a good 10 to 15 seconds. So I like to think of my nighttime routine as being almost meditative. We take our time, we respect the skin, we don't rub, we press, and then we gently swipe. Now I have quite a bit of mascara, but nothing else on my eyes today. And that's quite a filamenty mascara that Surat one, which is great for painting individual lashes so you don't get that kind of clumpy look, but it comes off in little pieces. Now I've just decanted some micellar water into a little travel pot. This is just my usual bioderma. And I'm going to press patiently and then I'm going to swipe. And then I'm going to press a bit longer. There we go. And then brows. Bye bye. And this side. Okay. Good. And then I'm going to do a flawless cleanse. Now it's a two pump kind of evening. I'm going to wet my skin first. So, two pumps, and then again, we're going to do a meditative cleanse for a full minute. And that's the way to make a single cleanse count. And there's really just some gossamer tint in number one on my skin, and a tiny bit of Surat dew drops, it's a Surat kind of day. And I'm using a little bit of the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer under my eyes in shade four. I'm actually finding that very good. So this will all come off very easily with a minute and those two pumps of Flawless Cleanser. That's looking good. face, clean towel, and you probably know that my nighttime routine is not terribly fussy. So I'm going to go in with some flawless moisturizer, moisturizer goggles. So I use about a half pump to basically just treat slash shield the eye area. Now flawless moisturizer has 5% niacinamide in a nice rich shea base. So it's a really good eye cream all by itself. Plus I'm using it to just prevent the migration of my retinoid into my eye area because nightly serum isn't designed for the eye area. Azelaic acid isn't particularly helpful and might cause unwanted irritation for no good reason. So more on the eye area to come guys. So that's like a nice physically present layer of flawless moisturizer. And now I'm going to go in with a pump of flawless nightly serum. And a pump is basically about a fingertip amount, which is a line as long as your finger. And we're going to do, you guessed it, the 13 dot technique. So that's three on the forehead, 
cheeks, two on the nose and two on the chin. And then a firm massage, focusing on those thicker skinned parts of the face, so the forehead, the cheeks, the nose and the chin, and really just giving you control over application of the product you know, the areas that are prone to drying out, which are the eye area and the lips, and potentially if it collects in the creases of the nose, of course, you want to treat the surface of the nose because that's where you've got all those spacious glands, but you don't want a pool of product to form, which will irritate the crease on the side of the nose. So azelaic acid, granactive retinoid, bacuchiol, and niacinamide. So it's a really broadly acting night serum. So you've got your retinoid for fine lines and wrinkles for unclogging pores. You've got azelaic acid for redness. Again, good for pigmentation and to reduce blemishes. You've got niacinamide, calming, blemish fighting, pore unclogging and barrier boosting. And then bakuchiol, which does all the same things as a retinoid and potentially less sensitizing and less likely to cause sun sensitivity. So kind of everything you want really in one serum. Then a bit of flawless lip to keep my lips supple overnight and to stop them from drying out. And that's just lanolin and ceramides, but it really works. And I'm gonna finish off with a little bit more flawless moisturizer just because it's winter and I don't want my skin to dry out especially with the wearing of masks. You know, this lower part of our face is causing havoc at the moment. So a little bit of flawless moisturizer goes a long way to ensuring that tomorrow if I'm wearing my mask in clinic, it's not gonna irritate, trigger breakouts and cause dry patches. And again, a nice firm massage to encourage penetration. And I'm going to put a little bit more on my neck. Another pump because niacinamide loves the neck. Now, I didn't put any nightly serum on my neck tonight, but I do usually use a retinoid, but my neck has been a little bit on the dry side recently. So I'm doing that every other night at the moment. And tonight's the night off. Okay, I'm ready for bed. Night night. <laughs>